Monster Jam fans, welcome out here to day number two out here in Tampa, Florida for the next stop out here on Stadium Championship Series East. So before we begin the final show in Tampa this weekend, we love to thank all of those who have served our country. Monster Jam is built right here in the USA. And we are super grateful and thankful to live in the greatest nation on earth and to celebrate its strengths, freedom, and resilience. And we've served in the United States military where having the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guards. Thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America. Presenting our nation's colors, this is Avengers Racing in the Steel Titan Sports League. Please go check out these channels, they are really cool. And everybody, please rise and move your caps for the singing of our national anthem by Avengers Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats and squid hats as we now present our nation's colors.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Austin, the race line for John Gordon and Bad Company to get the win. Next up, advancing in from round one, this is Matt Pagliarulo in Jester. First man there in the other lane, representing for the Mohawk Nation, this is Bryce Kenny in the Great Flips Mohawk Warrior. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go, under marks it go. Mm -hmm. Bryce Kenny will crash, and the winner will be Matt Pagliarulo in Jester. Next up, advancing in from round one, this is Todd Duke in Megalodon. First, the other winner, I'm saying Monster Jam's newest truck out of Harris, Texas. This is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, set, go. Mm -hmm. with some spin now to mess up with Austin the race as Tristan England will get the win. Time for the final race here of round number two. First up advancing in from round one, this is Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Versus in the other lane, representing the black and green wrecking machine, this is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Who will go to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go on your marks that go. Mm -hmm. And your winner is going to be Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Mm -hmm. And it's now time to kick off the semifinals out here with John Gordon in Bad Company versus Matt Pagliarulo in Jester. Who will go to the final round? Let's find out. Here we go. On your marks, it go. Mm -hmm. John Gordon in Bad Company. Hmm? Who will go to the final round to face off against John Gordon in Bad Company? Will it be Tristan England in the JCB Digatron or will it be Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Cole Bernard will crash. Tristan England with a barrel roll, but Tristan England will advance on to the final round. Gordon in Bad Company. 
who will get the win, get the first 12 points towards this afternoon's overall event championship. Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, it's at go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your winner, it was a close one, but your winner is going to be none other than Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great job for Tristan England out here for getting this JCB Racing Competition win. You know, Tristan England was so close to getting that JCB Racing win last night, but came up just short. He got defeated by John Gordon in the final round. And it looks like this afternoon he will finally come back with his revenge and get this win. So great job out here for Tristan England, the JCB Digatron, as he picks up the first 12 points towards this afternoon's overall event championship. Congratulations to Tristan England. Monster Jam fans, it is now time for our second competition of the afternoon, the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Each driver is going to get two opportunities to perform their best maneuvers on two wheels. Two wheel maneuvers you may see these are a donut. Two wheel maneuvers you may see these drivers out here on this track are slap wheelies, sky wheelies, stoppies, moonwalks, hoppers, bicycles, or maybe even a combination of these moves. So, Tampa, get loud. Be ready for the Great Flip Skills Challenge. Coming out first out of Holstein, Florida, this is Nick Aglierulo in Kraken. Slapping it down and immediately slapping it right back up. Great first attempt. One more step left to go out here for Nick Pagley Rulo. Mm -hmm. Nice little stopping that's going to be the other run out for Nick Pagley Rulo in Kraken. Your score for Nick Pagley Rulo in Kraken is going to be an 8.8. Eight four zero. That is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out next out of a metal shop from Del Mar, Delaware. This is Ryan Disharoon in Shaker. Great save out here. And has like a nice little slap with its opposite into a little moonwalk. Nicer job. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count that as an attempt as he tried for a reverse popper, and that's going to be the end of the run for Ryan Disharoon and Shaker. Your score for Ryan Disharoon and Shaker is going to be a 6.760. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Nick Pagliar Rulo in Kraken. Coming out next on about Passwords, excellent representative for Lucas Oil Products. This is a Lindsay Reed in Lucas Stable Life. Mm -hmm. Next, we're trying to get a sky wheelie here off of, off of the car. It's going to slightly work. One more attempt left to go. Next, we're our first wheelie, and that's going to be down the run for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Your score for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer is going to be a 7.455. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Nick Hagley Rulo in Kraken. Next up, your World Finals 22 Racing Champion out of Paxton, Illinois. This is Colt Michaelberger in Max D. Mm -hmm. Guys are doing a maximum moonwalk here off of the backflip ramp. This is really hard to do on this CRD truck, and 
all the weight is in the front compared to the Wilman trucks, which is all the weight is in the front. Um, this this CRD's got all of its weight in the back with the engine. And so this has been interesting, but Colton is just doing it out here. Wow, nicer job for Colton Michaelberger. And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Nice there, and he's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run for Cole Michaelberger in Max D. Mm -hmm. Your score for Cole Michaelberger in Max D is gonna be an 8.708. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still gonna remain Nick Pagley, Rulo, and Kraken. Next up, out of Fortville, Indiana, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Jamie Garner and El Torloco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blowing that smoke out of the nostrils. Nice there, slap laying it across the pod. One more attempt left to go. Nice there, Popper, and that's gonna be down the run for Jamie Garner and El Torloco. Your score for Jamie Garner and El Torloco is gonna be a 7.881. Getting up for third place. Your leader, so to remain Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken. Next, up representing the Mohawk Nation, this is Bryce Kenyon, the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Nice to stop you, Moonwalk Combo, moonwalking it up the ramp. Mm -hmm. Nice to comboing it into a wheelie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna set it down, one more attempt left to go. Mm Nice, they're comboing it into a wheelie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna set it down, that's gonna be down the run for Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Your score for Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior is gonna be an 8.890. Your brand new leader is gonna be Bryce Kenny and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Coming out next year, three time world finals champion, this is Todd LaDuke in Megalodon. Nice there, bicycle. One more attempt left to go. Nice there, he's got a bicycle and some moonwalk. Wow, nice your job for Todd LaDuke. He's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out here for Todd LaDuke and Megalodon. Mm -hmm.
Your score for top of Duke and Megalodon is going to be an 8.835. And that's going to be getting up for third place. Your leader is still going to remain Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Coming up next, we're saying the black and green wrecking machine. This is Tyler Meninga in Grave Digger. Nicer combo. Mm -hmm. Nice third hit, one more attempt left to go on here for Tyler Mendo. Touching that slap lane, that's going to be down the run for Tyler Meninga and Greg Digger. Tyler Meninga with a bit of a different run out here in skills. His score is going to be an 8.799. That's going to get up for fourth place. Your leader is still going to remain Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Next up out of the, out of the shop out of Deltona, Florida, this is Matt Pagley Rulo in Jester. Wow, Jester with a hard donut as he just ran. Can't do how four low, though, and that is going to be the end of the run for Matt Pagley, Rulo, and Jester. Your score for Matt Pagley, Rulo, and Jester is going to be a 7.800. That is going to be good enough for eighth place. Your leader is still going to remain Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Coming up next, making his return to competition, this is Cole Bernard in the Black Pearl. Mm, 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 mm. Mm hmm 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 Nice to slap Lily, one more attempt left to go. Can't see him skateboarding on that bicycle a little bit, and that's going to be down the run for Colt Bernard and the Black Pearl. Mm. Your score for Colt Bernard and the Black Pearl is going to be an 8.464, not enough for the lead. Your leader is still going to remain Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Next up out of Iron Georgia, this is John Gordon and Bad Company. Nice there, bicycle. One more attempt left to go. Nice little slap, Lily, and that's going to be the end of the run out of John Gordon in Bad Company. <laughs> Your score for John Gordon in Bad Company is going to be an 8.200. Not enough for the lead. Your leader is going to remain Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Coming out last, representing Monster James' newest truck out of Paris, Texas, this is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. Nice there combo, switching the front to BKT tires, slapping it down the ramp. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm. Nice here combo. Wow, walking it out. Coming there off the car stack. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, And he's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run for Tristan England and the JCB Digatron. Your score for Tristan England and the JCB Digatron is gonna be an eight points. Eight, eight, eight. Good enough for second place, which means your great clip skills challenge winner is gonna be none other than Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Great job out here for Bryce Kenny. Bryce had two great attempts. He had an epic stocky moonwalk combo in the wheelie, and he did that two times in his run. And now he did grab him with the same attempts as Tristan England, but maybe Bryce held out longer and him doing it first. For being it for the originality, may have gotten him to win. So good job back to Bryce Kenny. I believe on his first great good skills challenge win of the season. He picks up the next 12 points towards this afternoon's overall event championship. It is now half time everybody to go stand up, stretch, go get your food, your drinks, your water, your snacks, and come back in half an hour for the final competition of the afternoon, the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. It is now time for our halftime. It were um, overall event championships looking at here at the overall points here. Heading into halftime, currently right now, Tristan England in the JCB Digatron has the overall event championship lead with 23 points after getting first place in racing and second place in the Great Clips Skills Challenge. Second place is Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior with 18 points. And then we have a... Four-way tie for third between Todd LaDuke and Megalodon, Tyler Meninga and Gravedigger, Colvin Ard and the Black Pearl, and John Gordon in Bad Company, all with 16 points. But Todd LaDuke will take third, Tyler will be in fourth, Colvin Ard will be in fifth, and John Gordon will be in sixth. Because due to the fact that... um. Since um, since uh, Todd, uh, Todd got the most points and skills out of those four drivers, he will take that third place spot. And then Tyler in fourth, and then so forth and so on. And then in seventh place, we have a tie between Cole Michaelberger and Nick Pagliarulo. But Nick will take seventh place, and Colton will take eighth place. As those top eight right now are all eligible to win this overall event championship win. And as the overall event championship win mathematically has come down to, to um, this afternoon to either be it's either going to be Tristan England, John Gordon, Cole Bernard. Actually, Matt Pagley Rulo is also still in the game. He's actually the one in seventh. And then Nick is in eighth. And then... Holden's in ninth, so Matt Pagley, Rubo can still win. Tyler Meninga, Todd LaDuke, Bryce Kenny, Cole Michaelberger, and Nick Pagley, Rulo are all in the running for the overall event championship. As anybody who has 11 points or higher can still win this overall event championship. And there have only been actually three drivers who are, or four, yeah, three drivers who are eliminated from the possibility of winning this overall, which are Ryan Disherman and Shaker. Shaker, Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco, and Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer, as they all are in the single digits and are struggling, and they're too far behind to try to win this overall event championship. So they're just hoping to have a great end to the event by burning it down in freestyle. And we're now going to bring you to Perch Perkins, who's back in the pits. And Perch, what can you tell us about what's going on back in the pits right now? We had a lot of trucks back here. Urch, what is going on with all these Monster Jam trucks here in the back? Well, back here in the back, right here, you know, right now, currently with Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. They're currently just getting a few things, this last minute checks on the truck, making sure it is 110% for freestyle. He should be able to make it out. They're going to be doing the same. They're doing the same on Lucas Stabilizer. They're cracking is having some EFI issues, but they're trying to do some tune-ups with it right now, and he should be, be able to come back out for freestyle. Tyler Menigan, but the bigger damage has been done on um, Shaker. Er, has some a tiny bit of issues right now, mechanical issues. Currently fixing that up, but the big issues going on in the pits right now are Gravedigger and Jester. 
Grave Digger right now is working on fixing up the transmission as they, they destroyed the transmission and skills and they're currently making a quick swap out uh, right now as all the crew is working on Grave Digger. Get that transmission swapped out and ready to go. And then lastly on Jester, that hard crash in Donuts. You end up bending a four-link bar and breaking out a drive shaft. So they're currently making some fix here errors on them. And it's unknown if Grave Digger and Jester will make it out for freestyle. And I can confirm the rest of the trucks back here will be able to be back and out and ready for freestyle. All right, thank you, Perch, on that update. You're welcome. All right, Monster Jam fans, we're currently just getting a few moments away until Monster Jam halftime will be over and we'll be back for... Or um, the final competition of the afternoon. Monster Jam fans, we've reached the pinnacle of this afternoon's event. The BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Each driver is going to get two minutes to tear up the track to do the biggest and best moves. Some stuff may see these drivers do around this track are technical maneuvers, donuts, huge air, crazy saves, a backflip, or maybe something wild crazy new we've never even seen before. Some of the judges are looking for judging these freestyle runs are flow, non-stop action, momentum, breathtaking saves, huge vertical air, wild factors, these of all obstacles, and the completion of the time. If a driver is not quick the first 30 seconds of the run, they'll be unable to qualify for a score. So, Tampa, get loud for me one last time if you're ready for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. On the out first out of Holstein, Florida, this is Nick Aguirulo in Kraken. Seconds are left. Kraken's going to be a 7.795, and that's going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Coming up next is Nick Pagliarulo's father, or out of El Deltona, Florida. This is Matt Pagliarulo in Jester. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Jester had some major damage after skills. Let's see what he does out here in freestyle. It barely got this truck ready to freestyle and luckily knit it out. Thirty seconds are left. Your score for Matt Pagley, Relo, and Jester is going to be a 7.608. Getting up for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Nick Pagley, Relo, and Kraken. Coming out next out of Ireland, Georgia, this is John Gordon and Bad Company. Mm, 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 Great donor, and that's going to be the end of the run for John Gordon in Bad Company. Your score for John Gordon in Bad Company is going to be a 9.490. Your brand new leader is going to be John Gordon in Bad Company. Next up, out of all assets, access representative from Lucas Oil Products, this is Lindsey Reed in Lucas Stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Everybody get those trucker arms going for Lindsey Reed. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
She's gonna nail it. Nice good job. Thirty seconds are left. Nice donuts, and that's gonna be the end of the round for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer. Your score for Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer is gonna be an 8.990. <laughs> that is gonna be enough for second place. Your leader is still gonna remain John Gordon in Bad Company. Coming out next, making his return to competition, this is Ovenard in the Black Pearl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Covenard in the Black Pearl is going to be an 8.674. Getting up for third place. Your leader is still going to remain John Gordon in Bad Company. Next up, on a form, Bill and Ian are saying the crazy bull. This is Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blowing that smoke out of the nostrils towards Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Mm -hmm. Pulling that smoke again out of the nostrils. See, it's ready to start his freestyle run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Jamie Garner's lining up for that Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp. Mm -hmm. Nice there, great consecutive for Jamie Garner. Wow. Epic save. Jamie Garner is going for this freestyle win right now. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the end of the run out for Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. And your score for Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco is going to be a 9.575. Your brand new leader is going to be Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Next up out of the metal shop from Delmore, Delaware, this is Ryan Disharoon and Shaker. <laughs> Truck is in the time has been paused for one second as they fix the park truck. It's been turned back on. Ryan Disharoon and Shaker is going to be a 6.999. Not enough for the lead, good enough, only for seventh place. Your leader is still going to remain Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Coming out next, your three time world finals champion. This is Topla Duke and Megalodon. Train your bicycle, kick off the run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mmm, 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 well, he just knocks that berry down to the ground. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Morgan backflip ramp, and he's gonna nail it perfect down here for Cold Knife Burger. 30 seconds left. Colton Eichelberger and Max D's gonna be an 8.895, getting up for sixth place. Your leader is still gonna remain Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Coming out next, representing Monster Jam's newest truck out of Paris, Texas, this is Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. <laughs> Great slap out here for Tristan. <laughs> Score for Tristan England, the JCB Digatron is going to be a 9.275. That is going to be getting up for third place. Your leader is still going to remain Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco. Coming out last, we're playing the black and green wrecking machine. This is Tyler Medinga in gray. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
because we lost the year off that step up ramp. Wow, launching in here across the track. He's like lining up here the Morgan and Morgan backflip ramp and he's gonna nail it. Thirty seconds left. Great save. Vitalis is not going to stop until that truck is crashed. He's just going to keep going. This, is, this does not count for the score. And this is just for you fans. And here he goes on his lane. And that's going to be the end of the run for Tyler Manga and Grace Digger. Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, your score for Tyler Medigan and Graveyard has been locked in. It's going to be at 9.680, which means your PKT Tires Freestyle Competition winner is going to be none other than Tyler Medigan in Gravedigger. Nice job out here for Tyler Medigan in Gravedigger. All right, you know, it's a great job. You had a really great run out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lutely just burned it down. Huge, <coughs> huge, <coughs> huge air. Great momentum. Just a great run from Tyler Meninga. One of his best of the whole season. So it is great job for Tyler Meninga and Grave Digger as he takes home this BKT Tires freestyle win out here in Tampa. Second in a row out here for him on the weekend. Just great job. How does that much to say? Is he's currently right now just leaving and hopping on a plane. And he's heading to try to get to that Tampa International Airport to go get on a plane to go to to, to go to Fresno, California for tomorrow's show, where he'll be filling in for Matt Cody and Gravedigger. So from on Arena Series West, so Tyler's putting on that plane. Heading over there, but yeah, just once again, great job for Tyler Manning and Grave Digger on the Big Hit Tires Freestyle win. Monster Jam fans, your overall event championship winner has been decided. And we're getting a total of 12 points in the JCB Racing Competition, 11 points in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, and 9 points in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Your overall event championship winner is going to be none other than Tristan England. In the JCB Digatron. Congratulations now here to Tristan England for this JCB and for this rate for this overall event championship win. Tristan had a great day out here today. He was super consistent. He won racing, got second in skills, fourth in freestyle. Just great job out for Tristan England. Tristan had a bit of a struggle at the start of the season, but it seems like after the two week two week break in between. Indianapolis and Minneapolis. Um, Tristan has been picking it up ever since and has just been doing amazing as he picks up this overall event championship win. This is second on the season. It's been exactly one month since Tristan got his last overall event win back in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So it is great to see Tristan pull out this overall event championship win. He definitely needed to try to catch up in points, and, he, and hopefully this second, this overall championship win will help him boost to second place here in the season standings that we're gonna look at next. Once again, congratulations to Tristan England on the overall event championship win. Monster Jam fans, that'll be a wrap out here for this afternoon's show out here in Tampa, Florida. But first, let's take a look from, at the event results. Here are the results for the JCB Racing Competition and the Great Clip Skills Challenge. And here are the results for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition and overall event championship. Currently right now in the season standings, Tyler Benninga and Grave Digger will be in first place with 269 points. Second place will be Tristan England in the JCB Digatron with 224 points. 
Third place will be Cold Michael Berger and Max D with 215 points. Fourth place will be Bryce Kenny and the Great Club Small with 206 points. Fifth place will be Todd LeDuke and Megalodon with 192 points. Sixth place will be Cole Bernard and the Black Pearl with 190 points. Seventh place will be John Gordon and Bad Company with 184 points. Eighth place will be Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco with 151 points. Ninth place will be Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken with 143 points. Tenth place will be Ryan Disharoon and Shaker with 124 points. Eleventh place will be Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilize with 106 points. And then in last place to wrap up the bottom will be Matt Pagliarulo and Jester with 92 points. And currently right now, Tyler Meniga has got this series lead pretty good right now. Now well, as he's got a pretty decent lead here, a 45 point lead over second place Tristan England in the JCB Digatron. As also some news here, Tristan England with his great overall event championship win today will take second place and ask Colton Eichelberger and Max D after Colton's um, a bitter, a mediocre of an event today. A, um, same as, nearly the same event as yesterday and he will have him fall down in points. A line for Tristan to get second. Bryce Kenny is remaining in fourth, although he is super duper close to that third place spot as he is only nine points behind Colton Eichelberger and Max D. Then in fifth place, we've got Todd LaDuke and Megalodon trying to catch up to Bryce Kenny. He's kind of close there as well as he's only 14 points behind him. A great event could launch him to fourth place. Cole Bernard and Black Pearl in sixth place. Really wants to get into fifth place as he is super close. He could easily get there with a great event at the next stop as he's only two points behind. John Gordon in bad company with his great weekend in Tampa has been getting him some more points. Sorry for me adding the background. I don't know why that is. I need to get you to premium. But yeah, so John Gordon in bad company with his great weekend in Tampa slowly closing himself in on the top half of the leaderboard as he's currently right now only six points behind Black Pearl and only eight points behind Megalodon. So if John Gordon can have a good next event, John Gordon has a chance to launch up in the points and get into... And, and get into, uh, and possibly get up to 5th place in points if he does good, does good in the next event. And then currently right now, Jamie Garner and Nick Pagliarulo battling it out. Nick, uh, Jamie Garner expands his lead over Nick Pagliarulo as Jamie had a really great event today. And especially in freestyle uh, where he ended up getting 2nd place. So that definitely helps him out um, to expand his lead over Nick as he's got an eight point lead over Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken. And Nick really hopes to get his truck fixed up, up and working, thing back to normal to try to, so it's, you know, he can try to catch up in points. Points as he wants to try to pass Jamie Garner and El Toro Loco at the next stop. And then at the bottom right now, Ryan Dishroon and Shaker he continues to try to catch up. He's slowly trying to crawl up to try to pass Nick Pagliarulo and Kraken as he is slowly making his way there. And then um, he's got currently right now an 18-point lead over Lindsey Reed in Lucas Stabilizer. Um, you know, Ryan Disher did not have a great event today. He only got four points. Two in racing, one in skills, one in freestyle. So Disharoon is starting to definitely lost some ground um, on Lindsey Reed as Lindsey Reed. Is starting to slowly catch up as Lindsey Reed is now 18 points behind. And Lindsey Reed also needs to watch out for Matt Paglia, Rulo, and Jester, who is now only 14 points behind. Matt has been wanting to get out of the bottom for a long time now, and he is finally close to being there as a great event in the next time around could get him out of the bottom and push Lindsey Reed there. So that's going to be interesting to watch out here at the next stop. Speaking of which, this tour's next stop is not going to be for two weeks until Easter Sunday, March 31st, in Miami, Florida. So this tour's got two weeks to prepare for Miami, Florida, uh, coming up very soon. It's going to be very interesting and very fun to watch, to watch these drivers go out there and compete there and in Miami. You see, now they're going to go and get all the trucks back to the shop. Luckily for eight out of these 
12 competitors. Their shops are located right here in Florida. And then Bad Company is located just in the state right above in Georgia. So, you know, all the trucks will be back in the shop tonight. All the drivers should be making it back to the shop tonight, except for maybe John Gordon, as John Gordon's quite a busy ways away in Hiram, Georgia. So, he may arrive late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Jamie Garner's team with um, Toro and Black Pearl won't we'll arrive till tomorrow, and then probably won't be till Tuesday until Shaker will be back at his shop. But they're gonna go ahead and get these trucks back to their shops and work hard on them on two week for two weeks, and then we'll finally and then till the Easter show on March 31st. We cannot wait for March 31st, Easter Sunday, Easter Sunday, and Easter as a holiday in general has been such a big tradition for my sport of Monster Jam throughout. Since 2015, ever since 2015, we've always done a show on Eastern. We cannot wait to see these drivers come out there on Easter Sunday in tear it up. All right, everybody, it's going to be the end of this video and end of a great weekend down here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. We cannot wait for next year. So, everybody, maybe be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you guys can be notified for when the next stop out here on Stadium Tour East comes out. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Have a god bless day. We'll see you all soon for some more Moss Jam action. Peace out. Mm, 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 mm,